Kevin getting behind the camera after years to the star-studded cast leaving everyone excited, here are all the new details about Kevin Costner's Horizon movie series. The actor stepped behind the camera after nearly 20 years, and everyone's holding their breath for the masterpiece he'll produce. Let's not forget that almost two decades ago, Kevin was directing hits after hits. From Open Range to The Postman, all of his films were out of this world. But the movie that sent lightning bolts everywhere and shot him to fame was the one and only Dances with Wolves. Costner ended up snagging two Academy Awards for it, and he even got nominated for the Best Actor category for his mind-blowing performance. Yep, that movie's that good. And the crazy thing is that the film was actually his directorial debut. Not only that, but Kevin's going all in on his passion project. After all, he's been trying to get Horizon off the ground since 1988. But back then, it was more of a single movie idea. He approached Disney in an attempt to bring his idea to life, but for whatever reason, that didn't end up working out. But Kevin didn't let this bother him at all, and instead he doubled down on his efforts. He brought the project up with different networks three times, before finally getting a yes on his fourth try. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see this one, especially after getting to know what the plot is gonna focus on. The film series is set to be split into four films, with each having a runtime of three hours. Kevin has said that he plans on releasing each part after three months. Not only that, but he even plans on having a television release of it, meaning he'll edit the whole thing into smaller episodes. That's a crazy amount of work to take on. But clearly, Kevin's up for it. So he's dedicated to the whole thing, that he even co-wrote the screenplays with John Baer. But here's the burning question, what's the plot gonna be like? Well, nothing specific has been revealed about the film's plot yet, but from the looks of it, it's gonna be a Western mystery. And it goes without saying that this is something right up Kevin's alley. After all, he's done some of the most amazing work in the Western genre, and has even spent so much time adapting to the culture. According to reports, the film series will be experienced through the eyes of those who call the American West home. It'll focus on the pre- and post-Civil War eras, and the expansion and settlement of the American West that's spread throughout the years. That sounds super exciting, and it's no wonder why fans can't wait for it to be released. And guess what? They don't even have to wait for too long. According to Kevin, the first part of the series wrapped up filming in November 2022, and he hopes to release it during fall 2023. But speaking of filming, fans are super curious to know where the saga was shot. Well, don't worry, I've got you covered. Turns out Horizon is being filmed in Southern Utah, or more specifically in the Moab area. The area has been used as a setting before for several films and commercial shoots, but nothing as huge as Horizon. A source has spilled that Kevin has signed a multi-year partnership to continue to film in the area. The Tourism Office of Utah has even said that they believe the film will generate more than $90 million in revenue. But why Moab of all locations? Turns out Moab's red rock landscapes fit in perfectly with the Western theme of the series. But two parts of the series are rumored to be filmed in various places around the Washington County. All of this doesn't sound so cheap, right? Well, that's cause it isn't, folks. In fact, Kevin is personally funding much of the project's big budget himself. Yep, he's even gone to the extent of mortgaging his 10-acre home in Santa Barbara, just to make sure the movie gets made. Apparently, he had plans to build his dream house on that land, but he's putting it on hold to finance this film. It's pretty impressive how committed he is. Even his accountant is freaking out about it but Kevin doesn't seem bothered at all. This isn't the first time he's taken such a risk with his own money. Remember movies like Black and White, The Postman, and Dances with Wolves? He invested a lot of his hard-earned cash in those projects too, and they all paid off. So it's no surprise that he's willing to do it again for his own projects. People were praising Costner for his investment because making a movie can be crazy expensive. 
There are salaries to pay, accommodations to arrange, transportation costs, and let's not even talk about the price of equipment. But Kevin believes it's all worth it. He's so dedicated to this project that he's even refused to take any money for the first two films. That's a huge sacrifice on his part, given the fact that he's burned bridges with the Yellowstone production, and that means he's not getting any income from anywhere. He was making some serious money from his role as John Dutton, but it seems like his involvement in filming Horizon caused some major issues. Apparently, he started prioritizing the new project and started ditching Yellowstone, which didn't sit well with the production team, especially Taylor Sheridan, the series creator. Their clashes over this whole situation led to some serious beef, and Paramount ended up canceling the show. It's understandable why they had to make that decision, because Kevin was the main lead of the series, and if he wasn't available on set, it would have been impossible to film the season properly. Apparently, Kevin requested that all his scenes for the second part of season five be filmed in just one week. That's a pretty outrageous demand to make, right? So it's no wonder the show was pretty much destined to come to an end. Interestingly though, Kevin has a different take on the whole situation. According to his lawyer, all the rumors and claims about him making filming difficult are lies. They're adamant that Kevin didn't cause any issues on set, and well, I guess there are always different sides to every story. But believe it or not, this whole ordeal hasn't just affected Kevin's professional life but his personal life as well. Yep, Kevin's getting a divorce, and it's all because of his long working hours. I'm sure you've realized by now that the actor is a workaholic, and that's exactly the reason why his wife, Christine Baumgartner, filed for divorce. You see, his wife was hoping that once Yellowstone ended, Kevin would come back home and spend time with his family, which is something the couple have been fighting over for years. But that's exactly what ended up happening. Instead, the actor took on this huge project that's gonna take years to wrap up, so knowing that her husband wasn't gonna cut back his working hours and give her the attention she needs, Christine walked out. In the official divorce papers, she claimed irreconcilable differences as the reason behind the separation. But we all know what the truth is. It's safe to say that Kevin's dedication to this project is costing him a lot. It's no wonder why, since there's a lot riding on this movie series. I mean, after cutting so many ties in his life, it'd be unfortunate if the movie ended up being a major flop. But that's unlikely, since the cast of the movie is phenomenal. For one, you have Kevin starring in it. Then there's the talented Sienna Miller and Ella Hunt. Joining them on this adventure are Sam Worthington, Isabel Furman, and Luke Wilson. Sounds like a dream lineup, right? Still, not much has been revealed about the characters they'll be playing, but something tells me that it's gonna be epic. Plus, the actors are all having so much fun working on this project. Isabel revealed that she's having a blast on set, and even called Kevin a genius and praised his kindness and generosity. The actress didn't just stop there. She also claimed that Costner's brought together a great group of people to work on this project, and that the movies are so well written, she can't wait for people to see them. But the most heartwarming thing she revealed was that Kevin's having a lot of fun on the project. This just proves how passionate Costner is when it comes to Horizon. Oh, and get this, Kevin's son, Hayes, Logan Costner, is also set to have a role in the film. Being the supportive dad that he is, Costner couldn't help but sing praises about his son. The actor said that Hayes is very good which is pretty shocking given the fact that he's only 13 years old and the screenplay has been around longer than him. So there you have it, from the star-studded cast leaving everyone excited to the movie series being Costner's lifelong dream, those were all the new details about Kevin Costner's Horizon movie series.